guys you're welcome back thank you so much for clicking up you guys are doing great so is your culture so fragile that muslim prayer is such a threat to you let's check it out a muslim ch student's challenge at the high court against a london school's ban on prayer rituals has been rejected the students argued that the ban at michaela community school in london was discriminatory and unlawfully breached her right yes. to religious freedom however the school said allowing prayers risks security threats and could undermine social oh, cohesion among pupils well join me now in the studio is abdullah al andalusi co-founder of the muslim debate initiative thank you for joining us in the studio. Um, so Catherine Burbelson called this a victory for all schools. Presumably you disagree. Yes, I think it's uh, uh, unfortunate. I mean, why, why is prayer deemed to be a threat in society today? Mm -hmm. Uh, we, there's always a lot of complaints, especially on GB News, about Christianity and Christian, Christian practices being restricted in the secular Britain. And yet, uh, when it comes to other religions, uh, we uh, celebrate, unfortunately, the, the, these bans and, and, and students being prevented from simply praying in their lunch breaks when they would be presumably playing games. They would just want to pray, choose to play, pray instead, and that's going to be banned, unfortunately. Except it wasn't about that. It wasn't about um, a specific religion. It was about it set out in the charter and the rules of the school that no prayer was allowed at all. And that was made clear to all, all parents, uh -uh. all pupils, before they enrolled at the school. In fact, she school. said in the ruling, you don't have to come to the school, but these are my rules. I'm free to make my own rules. If you don't like them, the, the, you can go exactly. elsewhere. Well, actually, she, she said she used to allow people to pray in the yard uh, voluntarily. And then there was, she complained that it was making other Muslim uh, students more religious or that there was some pressure on Muslims who didn't want to be religious or what have you. And then she just said, you know what, I'm going to just ban Muslim prayer altogether. Because apparently um, culture and, and social cohesion is so fragile that prayer, just simply prayer, is, is a threat to it. Um, if, if such a culture uh, is so fragile that prayer is a threat, we need to re-examine that culture. Well, maybe we need to re-examine the culture that emerged from this. A backdrop of events including violence, intimidation and appalling racial harassment of our teachers. That's the backdrop, the consequence of this decision. Surely that proves that introducing prayers, special treatment for whatever groups within a school, when it leads to this kind of intimidation, it proves the point. There should be no special dispensation for Muslim prayers in British schools. The High Court agreed. Well, uh, such things are actually deplorable, but they were coming from outside the school, not from inside mm. the school. So it seems like Catherine just buckled to outside pressure and decided just to ban everything. You know, I mean, is this the kind of social cohesion we have? Like, are we going to imitate? Are we going to imitate China, mm -hmm. which uh, prevents and bans all kinds of demonstration of religiosity in their schools in the sake of a monoculture? Because anything else than a, a government-proved monoculture creates division and d destroys social cohesion. We're not living in China. You know, if she wants to create, uh, I mean, what, what next is she going to mandate unisex toilets and calling everybody day and not he or she? Because this creates division too. Mm -hmm. or are we going to go down the Marxist route? Then it seems. Well, she she wanted actually universality and not preferential treatment that's what this is about but thanks for joining us in the studio you appreciate your time Abdullah Al and Lucy thank you very much for joining us on that debate and up next we'll just oh, wow 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 but this is so sad why were you ban? I don't understand is a is that school a Muslim school or is a university school in which all culture all religion comes to study there are some schools that they admit more of Christians than any other religion or Muslim. And there are some schools that are majorly meant for Muslims. So I'm sure this should be a universal school. But, you know, I, based on the explanation, I'm very sure that before she gave a ban to the, to the prayers, people were praying in school before. Muslims were allowed to pray in school, maybe after you know, school hours. But all of a sudden, the owner of the school said she's put a ban to Muslim prayers. She stopped Muslim puppies from praying. I mean, I don't see any need. I don't know why she had to take that decision. Or maybe there's, there was a, an experience she had and she didn't want to go deeper in that. She didn't want people to know what actually happened. But let everybody have freedom. When it comes to religion, religion should not be limited. Don't limit anybody based on their religion. We are all serving God, right? When it comes to spirituality, let everybody be. I believe if the person wants to pray in school, 
as long as he's not distracting anybody and he's not, you know, doing it to rub it on other people's faces or trying to disturb the, the poopies or the teachers, then let them pray. Prayer is the master key. Prayer is, is needed. In every, even, I even love it when children learn how to pray, especially students. It's better for them to pray than for them to be a prey or for them to start misbehaving or living a wayward lifestyle. So you banning this kind of prayer, now she, she even gave a condition that if you want to apply for, you know, an admission in the school, you, this is at the rules and regulation. If you know you are going to be praying, then don't apply. Go elsewhere. No, now. I know we have diverse schools. Schools are so popular that maybe your school is one of the best school in that country and people have heard a lot of good things that the school or the kind of student they've produced so this should not be a case why will you ban them to me it's i feel sad to actually hear that kind of thing because i don't know if muslim prayer is a threat to her but let me know your opinion guys what do you think to me i think it's based on um what she has passed through Maybe she had an experience. But let me know your thoughts, guys. That's a beautiful one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.